when it comes to Diluvium Regine, there is a lot of questions around essences. What to take, what isn't worth taking, and so much more. So this video is going to be what I recommend and what I have tried out for each role. Some successes, some... Eh rotters but with the actual reasoning behind my recommendations is why this video is a little longer than like a 30 second little blip because i want to actually inform you and give you the intuition behind why i'm doing what i'm doing so as an upfront disclaimer i have absolutely no mathematical backing to anything that i recommend that this particular strategy is mathematically perfect but it is what I have found very highly effective in practice and as someone that has had to grind this out plenty of times, you know that I want to save that time. So time scraps are going to be in the description if you want to just zip to a particular zone. So first up, I want to cover essences that you should try and have in every single run that without these particular things in the party in general can waste a lot of time. So first up, there should always be two melee DPS using Lost Rend Armor. This is a 10% damage up debuff that can be maintained at all times of the fight with 30 seconds duration and a 60 seconds cooldown. So this is going to impact everyone's damage and is thus insane when it comes to the numbers that it actually contributes to the fight. More lost rend armor users than two really isn't a bad thing though, but only having one or worse yet no lost rends in the party is a significant DPS loss to the entire group. Secondly, there should always be at least one lost banish user in the group which increases the entire group's damage against the mini boss the Bojan Phantom. And the Bojan Phantom's mechanics are super annoying so you really do want to skip through them using overwhelming damage, so take this for sure. Next up is that there should always be one, and just one lost flare star user. I want to say that because there is only one Lost Flare Star action that can be allowed on a single target at any given time. So if you want have like five Black Mages in your party, all with Lost Flare Star, that's not really optimal at all, and so be careful with that. Although usually I do want to say, why don't I say recommend like Red Mage or Summoner for that? And that's because Lost Flare Star costs so much MP that realistically the only one that can truly get away with doing it is a black mage. I know people are going to say in the comments, oh, red mage can do that with lucid dreaming, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's really hard from every time I've seen it. It's doable, but ugh. Fourth and final point that I want to make here is that there should always be one lost dervish user in each party. Two can stack up with a little bit of overlap in duration for sure, but the dervish buff is so strong that it should be a goal to just get one dervish per party. Special mentions that I want to make is that Lost Bravery should be applied across the entire alliance as a 5% damage buff. While 5% might not sound like much, it is a persistent 5% buff through an entire instance that often only needs to be reapplied once during a 20 minute standard run because it's 10, sec 10 minutes duration. 10 seconds duration, could you imagine? But the only exception to this is when you have a mage using Spirit of the Elder with Cure 4 that applies a 1 minute duration bravery to the entire party, which is really an option that you could do. But more on that and the mage's essences that I recommend in a bit. Now, another final special mention that I want to say is about two particularly insanely well-scaling abilities. Ninja's Trick Attack and Scholar's Chain Strategy which are debuffs placed onto a single target, which enables the entire 24 stack of players to take advantage of that debuff, which is off the charts in terms of how much a single regular ability contributes, so absolutely consider these as big assets. Ninja is one of the best classes to take into Diluvium Regine. But enough of those generals, let's get all the way down and focus down on healers. So Profane is always solid if your group already has a healer as it is a very, very powerful damage boost, but it does cost your ability to heal the team. However, if there's only you as a healer or if there's even just only one other healer, I personally prefer to still go Aether Weaver rather than Profane since a deep essence of the Aether Weaver will still double your damage. But even if you are using a deep Aether Weaver though, you can still output your same amount of healing. So it's extremely powerful. The next recommendation actually has shifted me away from even Scholar and to White Mage whenever I am running Delivium Regine right now. And that's even taking into fact that I said that Chain Stratagem scales really well just a few seconds ago. I and for the record, I can't even really consider Astrologian after messing about with these two other healers. Scholar has Chain Stratagem with scales too well, and White Mage has what I'm about to explain now. 
White Mage has the ability Thin Air, which makes abilities cost absolutely no MP for a short period of time. This pairs extremely well with Seraph Strike, which is a tremendous damage boost, but costs an insane 5,000 MP to cast it. While it is possible to make this work on Scholar, I personally found it extremely difficult to justify using it, or... I could maybe fit two, but getting three into like a dragged out fight was extremely hard on Scholar. White Mage, on the other hand, doesn't really feel that same level of pressure at all, and this damage boost is truly insane. Now my next recommendation for the second action is Chain Spell. This works well on Scholar and Ast as well, but when used on White Mage and paired with Thin Air again, it makes your casts instant, and so it allows full mobility as well as the damage amp, but the problem with it on Scholar and Astrologian is it makes spells cost much more, and so Thin Air and White Mage's near infinite well of MP can swallow this cost. Which is going to take me into my last tidbit of information in this section, which is White Mage's cast time reduction called Presence of Mind. This ability also lowers the global cooldown, even if you're instant casting. So combining Thin Air with Seraph Strike with Chain Spell and Presence of Mind makes White Mage's damage absolutely bizarre, and it's really trivial to out DPS the entire raid in many instances. In fact, I have ripped aggro off of tanks with this and died, which has been actually a short, a meme short that I put on this channel. So this brings me to my actual recommendation. Aether Weaver or Profane Essences with the actions Chain Spell and Seraph Strike on White Mage. So now let's talk range DPS. Pure Essence of the Fiend Hunter is bar none the best essence that you can take, but you can also get away with using Skirmisher Essences. In terms of actions, the most powerful thing that you can do as a ranged DPS is to bring Lost Dervish, and this is an excessively powerful team-wide buff. It, do not underestimate how powerful this is. It is, however, not alliance-wide, and so in each 8-person team, you will need to bring one of this. And it is possible to have two ranged DPS coordinate their dervish buffs to keep constant uptime for the entire party, which is definitely still very valuable and very powerful. But in reality, even just one DPS can keep the buff up roughly two thirds of the time and is more than enough. It is very, very powerful. Now, the second action that I recommend is Lost Font of Power. This is a powerful damage amplifier that lasts a hearty 30 seconds duration. So my recommendation is Fiend Hunter or Skirmisher Essences with the Lost Action Lost Dervish and Lost Font of Power. Now let's talk melee DPS, which might be a little controversial because I have found in parties that Lost Rend is usually the one buff missing from the group. And sometimes people do say that they will rend, but don't. So keep this in mind here. And I just want to say that from the get go because this has been my experience. Hopefully this will change in the future, but this is what I've been experiencing the past little while. So Pure Essence of the Duelist is bar none your strongest essence that you can take in there, but you can get away with Skirmisher. Now actions that you should absolutely have is the Alliance as a whole needs two Lost Rend Armor users in that Alliance that stagger their 30 second Lost Rend Armor to have a full minute up time. And so one goes the first 30 seconds, as soon as that ends, the second user uses their Lost Rend Armor. This should have a constant up time between the two. This is very, very important as 10% damage across the entire party scales insanely huge. Now the second lost action that I take with this is Lost Banner of Honored Sacrifice, which pairs up with Pure Essence of the Duelist to not drain health, which is huge, and to also last 30 seconds. This combo of the Duelist Essence with the Banner of Honored Sacrifice makes melee DPS easily top the DPS charts, even above busted white mages using Profane. Now if you have Skirmisher though, I would not recommend using this banner. I would not, since the HP drain is very significant, leading me to not, or rather, leading me to recommend Lost Font of Power, which is a powerful damage amp that won't have you die without extremely attentive healers. So then we come from this to a logical final problem is, what if you do have two Lost Friends in the Alliance already, and you aren't paranoid like me about someone missing a Lost Friend, and... What do you do? That leads me to Banner of Honored Sacrifice combined with Lost Font of Power. 
which is going to be a stupid amount of damage, and that you can tack that onto a powerful damage over time effect like Samurai's Hingan Banna that lasts a 60 seconds duration for hilariously busted results. It is so powerful. Another option is that if you are not able to get that Duelist Essence though, is to use something like Lost Assassinate just for the extra 350 potency every 15 seconds, which does add up over the course of a fight for sure. It is definitely worth it. So to conclude this section, my recommendations is Fiend Hunter Package. Fiend Hunter uses the Fiend Hunter Essence, obviously. Lost Actions are Lost Ranked Armor and Banner of Honored Sacrifice. This is what I most often have used myself. Or alternatively, if Rend Armor is covered, Lost Font of Power and Banner of Honored Sacrifice. The second package is Skirmisher. So Skirmisher Essence, obviously. You use Lost Rent Armor and Lost Font of Power. Or if Rend Armor is covered, you would generally go with Lost Font of Power and Lost Assassinate. <laughs> I know that that was a mess of recommendations, but those conditionals really do change it up. Now let's talk magic DPS recommendations. So if you are the only black mage in the alliance, you're probably going to be the one using lost flare star due to that bizarre MP cost. It's literally 9,000 9, MP. But my recommendation for essences is spirit of the elder, if you can possibly do it, but lost skirmisher is a decent alternative. Or you can also use watcher essences. I know this might be controversial because people will be like, that's not mathematically optimal. But I'm going to explain that one in a sec. So Spirit of the Elder goes extremely well with Cure 4 to buff the entire party with Bravery. If you don't already have someone manually casting Bravery, it is a very solid, easy to maintain buff on your party. Regardless, it's a 50% damage increase, so it is very much worth taking. Lost Font of Magic is another action worth taking, but causes a very, very significant MP drain. I cannot warn you enough. I... It personally overwhelmed me. It is an insane 70% damage boost, but I found managing the Black Mage rotation with this MP drain very overwhelming to me personally. But if you can manage it 70% boost, I recommend it, obviously. Another option to take is Lost Chain Spell, which is a solid damage amp and makes your cast instant with the drawback of slightly more MP cost. I found this, however, in my practice, much easier to manage than Lost Font of Magic personally. Aside from that, there is a build that people would call a meme build, but it is the Watcher Essence combined with Chain Spell, which makes you have instant cast spells that also have that Chain Spell damage amp at all times with like just refreshing the buff every 90 seconds. I enjoyed it. It was a plun very fun play style. It may be not best the nu like numbers wise, but it was extremely strong for me and very fun. So recommendations from me is Pure Essence of the Elder, if possible, Skirmisher or Watcher are also good alternatives if you don't have that. For actions, you need at least one Lost Flare Star in the Alliance, but only one. Don't take more because that's a huge waste. The Lost Flare Stars do not stack. With Flare Star, I'd be love... I'd really like to pair it with something like Lost Font of Magic, but Lost Chain Spell is also viable if the MP Drain throws your rotation off too much. Remember, a dead Black Mage is not contributing damage. Weakness is a very powerful buff. Not getting your cast off is going to... There's so many factors that goes into why I can't just immediately recommend Lost Font of Magic. If it's going to throw you off and make you play poor, eh, I, don't, I, I struggle for it. Other recommendations, though, to take our Lost Cure 4 to apply bravery to the party non-stop. Now we come to tanks. <laughs> the amount of pain that it caused to my poor healers when I was on tank trying some of these things. Essence of the Irregular basically makes it so that you need to... you basically need to use a cooldown whenever there is a raid-wide damage that will amplify the damage that you take to the sun and back. Essence of the regular makes you very squishy, I cannot emphasize that enough. You will die to some of the raid whites at the final boss, but it does give a very solid damage boost. I liked to pair this, personally, with Lost Font of Power, and oddly enough, people will look at me strange, Banner of Noble Ends. I don't know if this is numerically the best, but it is what I found the best when I went to do this. There were other options like Banner of Tireless Conviction, but the fact is that wasn't that effective because you were rarely taking that much damage, and especially with a regular, you will be penalized very heavily if you take damage. Unless you are main tanking though, I don't see this being great. One option with a regular though is to also take Lost Reflect, and then you can reflect things like Trinity of Vow has the tank buster. Reflect that with a regular damage bonus, 
bam, she's just going to wreck herself. And that is definitely another action that I can recommend. I also did try Lost Blood Rage though, and this is another one that I cannot recommend because it was very difficult for me to use in practice because you don't have that many dashes. I'm probably missing something here, but four dashes to get that final buff is very difficult to pull off. It felt a little janky. I wasn't sure how to do this. There's definitely a way, otherwise the buff won't be in there, so it's really tough. So my recommendation for tanks is Essence of the Irregular if you're comfortable dodging the mechanics and using cooldowns for every raid wide, definitely do that. Or another option is Martialist Essence, which is less damage, but you're not going to have that high risk. Combined with the Lost Actions, Lost Font of Power and Banner of Noble Ends. Honestly though, even in testing though, I need to be quite frank with you. This is significantly weaker than White Mage with the recommended essences and actions or Samurai or especially Ninja with recommended actions and essences and Ninja, remember they bring Trick Attack which scales with the 24 people whacking the boss. Very strong, very strong damage contributor. So I do find it hard to recommend tank unless you are main tanking. Where my recommendations if you were main tanking would be the Bloodsucker Essence, which adds damage, gives you HP regen, as well as the actions of Banner of Tireless Conviction, because now since you're main tanking, you're taking a lot of damage and lost font of power. So before I close off this video, I need to definitely take note of this because people will definitely say that I missed this. Is one combo for tanks, melee DPS, and ranged physical DPS that I am hesitant to recommend because beast essences I found very hard to get. I found it just not as effective. Is using essence of the beast combined with lost assassinate and something like lost font of power, which will be a tremendous self-sustain boost combined with a bonus to damage and crit hit rate while using that beast essence, it is solid, it is definitely viable, it is absolutely beyond any shadow of a doubt better than nothing, but I would stick with the other recommendations in my practice personally. Anyhow, that brings us to the conclusion. There are all of my personal recommendations of what I've had the pleasure of trying out in Delivering Regane and the Bane of my healers. And yes, that Black Mage Chainspell combo is sweet and as <laughs> fun.